So I've just received the new Ego Power Inverter that uh, they released and are running a sale on through, I think about the end of September. Uh, I went ahead and ordered one um, just because I've got a lot of Ego equipment and I uh, figured this might be useful, especially like if I uh, wanted to use it to run my CPAP um, it, you know, in the event of a power failure uh, or if I went camping or something. So I went ahead and bought it uh, with the hopes that it would do that, even though uh, when I ran the calculations, uh, my CPAP said a maximum of 1.5 amp draw. So when you multiply uh, watts equals volt times amps, that ends up being 180 watts. Uh, this will provide 150 watts. Uh, I was hoping that the CPAP probably would only draw that much in certain situations. So I went ahead and I ordered it. Um, so I just got it. And uh, it's actually a lot smaller than I figured it'd be. Uh, so it's about seven inches, which, uh, what is that? I don't know how many centimeters that is, about 17 centimeters, something like that. Um, so uh, size isn't too bad. Um, it's got two USB ports that do, I think, uh, 4.5 amps total, uh, and then 150 watt, 120 volt um, AC supply, and that is a square wave AC that it puts out, so it's not a true sine wave. Um, first look, so this is the 7.5 amp hour battery that comes with my lawnmower. I've also got a couple 5 amp hour batteries, um, but it just slides on like a regular, uh, any of the other Ego batteries. Hey, I well, it's supposed to. Nice. I just got to put it on the right way. So it slides on like any of the other Ego batteries. It latches in place. Um, it, the one concern I have right now is there's, it, it locks in, but just with the, the locking detents that the batteries normally do. And it, it looks like, you know, instead of putting an extra clip or something on it to, to make sure it stays locked in, they just offset this handle. So when you hold it, it tilts so it won't fall off. Um, that's probably going to be okay for most situations, but you know, if you're out trekking in, in a rugged area trying to carry it by this handle, you might uh, want to add something just to make sure it stays locked in place. Um, so once it's all set up, all you do to fire it up is you press this button. It comes on uh, and it's ready to go. It look, I, it, it, and I haven't actually read the manual yet, but it looks like that'll stay on for uh, just a little bit before it shuts off on its own. Uh, if you don't plug anything into it so um yeah so let's uh let's plug it into the cpap and see what happens all right so the lighting in this room is not great but i think we'll get the point across and earlier i mentioned that it'll stay on for a little while and then shut off i just actually caught that shutting off uh, on the video um so my cpap is just a regular resmed um, i think it's pretty standard and like i said uh, the power supply says up to 1.5 amp on 120 volt, uh, so that equals 180 watts. Um, so let's uh, go ahead and plug it in and see what happens. So it just plugs in, uh, we'll make sure we turn it on here, and then you see the CPAP does fire up. And this does have the humidifier, so it's going to draw a little extra current so I would assume it's going to be at the high end of that uh, 180 watts and you know it'll be up towards the top of that so this may not actually work um, so yeah let's go ahead and turn on the fan and see what happens okay um, yeah so uh, if you're buying this for the for a CPAP um, the uh, it just doesn't quite have enough oomph for some of the CPAPs. Uh, you know, your CPAP may be different. Uh, you want to definitely do the math on it. So watts equals volts times amps, and that'll let you know how much uh, power you need. Uh, but in the case of mine, this is I think it'll be a nice little device, but it's not going to suit my needs for using it for CPAP. So I need another solution if I want to go camping. Thanks.